Esto lo pongo porque quiero que entiendan la programación que tenemos. Entonces, todo lo que viene ahorita quien sigue es para, es para que entendamos la programación y cómo vamos a desprogramar ese entendimiento a lo nuevo. Okay? We have been program orders become successful. We need good grades. The better grades, the more successful you'll be. It's not true. Okay? School system. It's a business. It's a school system, it's a business, unfortunately. Los, when our kids don't go to school, the, the school doesn't get paid. And what are they doing? Calling your house so you can send a letter, right? Is it the interest of the students who learn or is it the money they receive? That's what I told you the other day. What's up? 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 Okay. Push it. Yeah. Also, with good grades comes good resume, but all of us here can agree it's not true. We need real life experiences in order to understand the process of achieving your goals. Un, a good resume, ahorita en el pinche Google te metes, te cobran 10 dólares y te hacen un resume. Ya eso ya, ya también es cosa del pasado, no existe. Yo cuando entrevisto para mi equipo, nomás hago una pregunta. Y con esa pregunta me doy cuenta si, lo, si quiero trabajar con una persona. Después se las doy a usted. Ya quería saber cuál era la pregunta. <laughs> This doesn't make any sense. When in the real world have you ever asked what your GPA or SAT score is? Never. Why do they make us? In la high school nos hacen tomar pinches de SAT scores que no valen madre. ¿De qué nos sirve eso? Absolutamente nada. Una de las compañías más exitosas ahorita en este momento en todo el mundo, una de las dos, que es Google y que es Amazon, ellos no te piden resume, ellos ah. te piden tus, o sea, tus redes sociales sí. y punto. De ahí ven qué clase de carácter tienes yeah. y qué clase de persona eres. Mm -hmm. Por eso ahora ya también tu background para poder hacerte ciudadano o lo que sea, va a incluir tus redes sociales. Y todo lo demás. De ahí vas a ver si eres elegible para ser una Correct. persona que obtenga los papeles en Estados Unidos. Le, le puchas, sí. Lo bueno es que yo no fumo nada. ¿Y <laughs> que se anda echando party todo el día? <laughs> Chicken, esto. When have you tried to get a car loan and been asked what your GPS to or qualify for a car loan? Never. Why the hell does a GPA matter? A GPA does not determine if you're stupid or smart. I have a son that's. He, he, he um, has learning disabilities, and he made the golf team. So his GPA is not good. It's decent for his capacity. But what, what, what does the world label my son as? Dumb. Mm -hmm. And guess what I label my son as? That is a talented golf player. That's who I label my son. And he walks around like he, he's a badass golf player. You could give him this to read it and take a test, he'll fail. What if, I, what if I lived my life thinking he was stupid and dumb? I would have fucked this whole life up. But now you imagine the confidence in himself that they accepted him to the team of golf because that was his meta and his dream. The rest doesn't matter. And that's why I focus so much on that because the program that we have nos ha dañado en, en nuestras capacidades. Oh, que tú no vas a servir para nada. Oh, que esas calificaciones vas a ser un burro. O vas a ser burro. Vas a trabajar en matando. Vas a trabajar lavando baños. Sí, porque como, también como latinos específicamente, hablando de nuestra sí. nacionalidad, este, nos, de pronto no se nos da ese valor. Y, y creemos, nosotros mismos no nos creemos capaces de poder llegar a ser lo que Correct. son otras razas. Correct. Como sentimos que no tenemos la capacidad o que no tenemos ni siquiera el derecho de pensar en poder ser lo que es él. Sí, pues se nos cierra el sueño. Sí. No, lo, no lo quitan. No lo quitan. Ok. A new world. Everything we have in our iOS operating system is obsolete. Everything we think here. ¿Qué es iOS? Los que tienen iPhone son los iOS updates. Eh, la, 
el, el iPhone y el Samsung. El Samsung tiene otro operating system que le dicen, ¿cómo le dicen? Ah, el Android, Android updates, es lo mismo. Okay. 21st century, 20,000 years of progress. Okay. Cada, en, el, en, este, en los 19 años que llevamos en este, en, en el 2000, del 2000 al 2019, hemos evolucionado 20,000 años de progreso. Okay. ¿Por qué tengo esto? Why do I have this on here? Because the greatest battle of your life is not a man against the world, it's man against itself. Why? Because the moment you, you, you get thrown something that's hard, you grab your phone and you go on Facebook. You send a text message to somebody that's not relevant to what you're doing. We go for the easy because it's easy. We need an OIS update. Okay? Everything we were programmed with, school, is not relevant today. So if you think you're not smart, it's okay. You're not being labeled. 1950, 1960, 1970, if you weren't smart, yes. You couldn't get a good job, you couldn't get a good career. Now, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, okay? Just picture this, in 19 years, we evolved 20,000 human years. 20,000 human years. What does that mean? That this thing has been so addicting that you can't focus on building great things in life. Because of the distraction and the dopamine squirt, and we're gonna do, I'm gonna do another training to teach you guys, This is more addicting than cocaine and heroin. <laughs> Fucking, a, every time you post something and somebody likes it, you get a dopamine squirt, just like heroin and cocaine. It's proven. The reason you guys go back on social media is to see how many people like your shit. And for that same reason, Instagram is already removing the likes. The likes. Yeah. Yeah, because it's so addicting. People got to go to rehab on their phones. That's how bad it is. Because if, how many of us have posted something, get no likes, and then repost it again? Yeah. Yeah, because we want the dopamine squirt. Oh, We're like lab rats. Have you ever seen those videos where yeah. they do lab rats? <laughs> so, the greatest battle of your life is not a man against the world, it's man against yourself. The biggest battle is you guys with yourself. Okay? Let's push on it. Today's new world. Everything we have been taught is obsolete. All IS updates, and we're still running Windows 95. What does that mean? Like I said, I went to college, okay? I took a marketing class. I do remember my marketing class. They taught me how to market on billboards, okay? I'm not against billboard marketing, but right now, if you drive by a billboard, how many of you write the phone number down? None. But right now, if you go on Instagram or Facebook and get an ad of something that intrigues you, what do you do? You click on it. Screenshot. Screenshot, yeah. <laughs> For later. So would you guys agree that putting your company on a billboard, the odds of you getting business is slim to none. But if you put it on social media, what's the odds of you getting That's taking a screenshot and liking it? That's what I'm talking about here. <laughs> We're thinking different. We're the way we buy things, how many of us go to the store, look at a price, and what's the first thing we compare to? Amazon. And if it's cheaper on Amazon, what do we do? Or, Unless you really need it now, you'll buy it. Yeah. But if you could wait, what do you do? Day, <laughs> you get <prime>. Just <laughs> imagine how many people are looking for insurance quotes, just like if you're shopping at Macy's and you go on Amazon. How are you going to differentiate yourself? How are you going to stand out for that person not to shop on Amazon? And I'm bringing this point because it's the truth. This is the times we're living in, where times are changing. And if we don't adjust, guess what? While your customer is sitting in front of you getting a quote, he's quoting online. Okay. How are you going to keep their attention to you? And if you don't do that shit, you know what's going to happen in the next five, seven years? You'll be done. You'll be out of this industry. End of story. We have to evolve. And I'm being honest, this is the thing, this is why I love what I do because I'm bringing you guys things that you guys are like, holy shit, maybe some of you are aware of it and some of you are not, but this is what's happening in your guys' industry. <laughs> and th does that make sense? Yeah, it makes totally sense. So how many of us now, everything starts clicking like, holy shit, I'm running Windows 95. My thinking is Windows 95. You can't. Hace 20 años? Sí. Ahorita no. Ahorita, si no te estás actualizando, you're dying. You're dying. Yes, get better. 
So we have any questions on this? Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the world, and there's four categories of human beings, okay? And, and I want you to identify yourself. Again, this is not to make you feel bad. This is not to make you, um, put you in a bad situation, but this is to identify who you are, okay? Why? Because in order to grow, in order to become better and achieve more, you need to understand who you are. 27% of our population are unmotivated. 27. That means this is the group that only does what's required from them. Unmotivated, this is the group that will rather die than think. What does this mean? It's the person that shows up to work, sits in their desk, and only does what's minimal. That's an unmotivated person. As owners, you guys need to start identifying it. As people, you need to start then If you're an unmotivated person, you need to be honest with yourself and tell yourself, am I only doing enough or am I doing extra? The difference, you guys know the difference between ordinary and extraordinary? The extra. What's the extra? If you get here, if you work from nine to five, okay, when you're here, instead of selling four policies, sell six, sell two more, extra, that's extraordinary. If you're around, you see a piece of paper, you get up and throw it in the trash, that's extra. That's extraordinary people. People think that the, the athletes, the, the professionals have some type of, of magical shit. No, they just do extra. Michael Jordan, I use him because we all know who he is. When he finished a baseball game, he'll get on a private jet, fly to Chicago to his trainer, train for two hours after a basketball game while his whole team was drinking, eating in their hotel rooms. He'll fly it to Chicago, train for two more hours, hop on the private jet, get back, sleep four hours, get back on the court and play. That's extraordinary. Today, I could have made a choice to be in San Diego with my wife and my kids. But I'm here because it's the extra. To me, I'm going to make a difference. I'm going to disrupt this industry. So it's going to take extra. I'm doing the extra. I could, I could sit down and not come and be like, hey, you know what? Let's change it for next week. But I'm here because it means a, this means the world to me. You guys are doing the great thing investing in your team because they're going to evolve. The ones that get this will grow. And the ones that don't, you replace. Because that's how this works. If you can't get this, you're not going to get it. Would you guys agree with me? Because it's very deep. Okay? Can you identify any unmotivated people in your life? Can you change them? No. Stop trying to change unmotivated people. You can only change yourself. That's right. That's what I'm getting at. If you know you're unmotivated... The only person that can snap you out of it is you. I can't, you guys can't, your doctor can't, can. nobody can. Nobody. You have to, you have to identify and you gotta be honest with you, yourself, okay? And unmotivated does not mean bad people, it does not mean, it means that you're not motivated to move forward. And this is a real category, and it really exists, and it's 27% of our population, okay? Move forward. 27 percenters, they're never going to win, and the whole quest is to make sure you don't win either. They're negative, they're very defensive, they're extremely inconsiderate, and they always want to tell you what they know. They have bad habits of pointing out everyone else's faults and not theirs. Where it says without, scratch it out, and put faults, not theirs. They don't like people calling their faults out. The reason I do what I do, because I like to identify people's faults. Why? Because if we don't identify them, how can we fix them? If you're an unmotivated person and you don't know, now you know. Now you got some work to do. And if you don't work on this, you know, that's up to the owners to say, you know what, I can't have you on my team. Sayonara. Release them back to the marketplace. That's what we call it. What sure. To oh, without... Just put everyone else's faults with everyone and just scratch out without. Oh, okay. Without. Okay. Thank you. 
without and put except theirs. So they don't like to be ridiculed. So without, except, just put except theirs. So they, they'll look at somebody else's faults, but not theirs. They're the ones that'll come talk negative about a teammate or a coworker, but don't look at themselves. Those are unmotivatables. And, and again, why am I bringing this up? So you could identify where you stand. Again, it's a good thing to know because you cannot win if you're an unmotivated person. End of story. Did you say the last one again? I'm sorry. Folks in Crosby. But have it except theirs. So they don't look at their faults. Have you ever guys ran across a person that's just talking about everybody and their mom except them? Oh, yeah. They're unmotivated. Or, they, or, or if you do something good, they will never acknowledge it, but you do something bad, and right away they acknowledge it. Oh, you did that shit wrong. Right? And if you know somebody, write their names down in the note section. <laughs> 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 I mean, why not? <laughs> They're always suspicious about your motives, and they will always talk negative about other people. I've learned to always find the good in people. That's just me. Maybe in one point in my life I was unmotivated. I don't know. But what I could recall is that there's a lot of people, when we start building companies, when we start building businesses, when we start building teams, that comes with the territory. You're going to run into unmotivated. I mean, that's 27% of our population, so that's a big group of people. That's a big group of people. Quarter. Quarter. That's society. So how do you deal with them? You can't change them. You're going to die trying. So, why do I bring this? Is because don't try to change them. Try to give them, with, uh, give them this. With if they don't get this, you're gonna die trying. That's just facts. Okay. Die trying. Let's move forward. They're very, very self-centered. They're horrible listeners, and they don't care about your feedback or instructions. These are the people you sit there and start giving them instructions, and they interrupt your conversation. Have you ever had one of those people you're trying to talk and they don't let you talk? And they interrupt you all the time? They're unmotivatable. Lord, I'm kind of that person then. A little bit. Sometimes. <laughs> There's a big difference between a, a listener and a, when somebody knows how to listen, they don't. A person is like you're trying to give your point and they just start attacking your point. That's an unmotivated. They try to make your point contra, pointless. Right? Yeah, in contra. They're going against you. So we're clear on unmotivated people? And, and we all have a little bit of all of them. We do. But that's the main thing. You have to identify really, really which one. Is that's it. That's what you got to identify and fix it. Yeah. And fix it. And, and that's the thing. You guys got to fix it. I can't fix it for you. I mean, I'm giving you the information, but you got to fix it. Okay. Motivatables. 60% of our population are motivatables. These are the ones that hope to win. Motivatables are the majority of our population. They're very self-conscious. They share their problems with everyone. This is a group that always knows what's going on. Okay? This is the group, okay? This is the group that signs up to the gym and only goes three times in three years. <laughs> <laughs> no, but <laughs> you guys can put that in your notes. <laughs> but that's 60% of our population, which is good. Again, why don't they move forward? Because they don't understand what's holding them back. Does that make sense? They don't understand what they got to do. But now today, you guys understand what you got to do. So the thing is, is that we have to identify it if you're a motivatable or unmotivated. I think we're going to have to go straight, no? Porque 11.40. I still got like 20 more slides, so. Okay. No, no, no. I'm just talking. So, this is the group of people that you need to, you know, they want more in life. They're the ones that January 1st comes. They're ready to go. Start be stop eating bread. Stop eating sodas. 
They go to the gym. And then February 1st, ya se les olvidó. They're at parties, comiendo tamales y todo. El recalentado, la, la rosca and everything, right? <laughs> but it's okay. You know why? Because now you know. Now you know this. Ha you, have you guys ever heard of this information before? No. No? And it's okay. Now you're aware of it. Self-motivated. 10% are self-motivated. They're very responsible and have a good self-image. They keep their problems to themselves. They, they have high energy level. This 10% is mostly entrepreneurs. People out there are independent. Because the motivatables is more the group that, you know, has a good career, good job, but they don't know how to get to the next level. The 10% are self-motivated. As, as an entrepreneur, we got to motivate ourselves because nobody, I always tell, people ask me, Cesar, who, who motivates you? Fuck nobody. I motivate myself because I have to. Because if I go ask somebody for advice or motivation, you know, that's just not how it works. You have to be self-motivated. Okay. This is. So anybody of you that are unmotivated or motivatables, your whole goal is to start transitioning to self-motivated, to be motivated by yourself. Don't, don't, don't have something bad happen to you to get inspired. That's a problem. We live in a world where you, something bad has to happen to you to get motivated. Don't let it get to that. Stay motivated all the time. It's so high though. It is, but it's all here. It's because the, that's why there's only 10%. But yeah. going back to the programming, the reason we are not self-motivated is our programming. We were taught to be smart. We were taught to take tests. We were taught to memorize things. We were told we were dumb because our dreams were crazy. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. That's why. So again, and I'm bringing that out as a great point because it's true. The only reason we can't transition is because we were programmed wrong. That's the reason People don't succeed because we're programmed wrong. And we still believe, like, el tema que dije de my kids, I tell them to get people to do their homework. It's controversial. People think it's crazy, but it works. Does that make sense? It, that's why. People can say, como ahorita. I know some of you, like, at the beginning, were like, whoa, what is this guy going to do? But now if I sit down with you and give you feedback, you're going to take it. You're not going to be receptive to it, Right. That's where you want to be. When somebody tells you, look, this is what you're doing wrong. It's for the better of you and your life. Take it. Ten percenters do that. If, I, if, if you pull up me to the side and be like, hey, Caesar, I really didn't like this. Okay, well, I'll listen to you. I, before, I'll be like, fuck, no, I still win all the way. See me explico? Big difference. Ten percenters learn how to take constructive criticism, and they're always trying to improve themselves. You know, and the, when we first started, I asked you guys a question. How many of you guys take an hour to train yourself to become, to develop skill set? Most of you don't. So now you know you have to, to be part of this group, you have to develop your skill set. And if you don't, you're going to stay in that group that you identified to be in. And again, it's not, that doesn't make you a bad person, but you know where you sit. Now you got to fix it. If you want to, if, if you choose to stay there. Well, That's your choice. Right, but then no te quejes. Cada rato todos andamos quejando de la chingada que... Aquí en la nota, no. Yeah, in the note section. Use your note sections, fill in shit. I mean, names, people will be like, fuck, ese güey es un... está desmotivante, fuck it, put his name on there. And this is another... <laughs> it clicks, huh? All this makes sense? You're going to start realizing... No, y el, y el problema más grande, when you guys go back to your work, Así van a captar la gente. Oh, fuck, ese güey no es motivante. Fuck. <laughs> you, start, you start judging people. But it's okay, though. Because look, this is what happens. You go out to the real world. Y empiezas a... You start hanging around, associating with unmotivated people. Guess who's going to be the next one? You. And you don't even fucking know. And now their dreams are shattered because they have no dreams. Your dreams, they're going to shit on them. And now your dreams are fucking gone. Mm -hmm. Right? Dando el consent. I'll go con tip. That's a select, that's a selective listener. 
Yo cuando yo platico con todo el mundo, en el momento que empiezan a quejarse, me, yo me he programado a no a juzgar. Porque era, yo juzgaba un chingo antes. No, porque sí, ya, ya, ya vas por la vida, vas en un proceso y dices, fuck, si nomás supieran la, lo que hay que hacer y lo hacen, pueden tener éxito. Entonces, what I do is, I don't listen, I just shut my mind down. And I let them talk, pero llego al punto que, well, ok, no, pues suerte, que Dios te bendiga y... No, porque... No, they're unmotivatables. No los puedes cambiar. Pero cuando una persona está lista, cambia. Y desafortunadamente va a haber gente que nunca va a cambiar y no podemos hacer absolutamente nada. Lo malo hacemos wave. Motivators. That's 3%. Hablamos de los 97, 3%. Uh, the population of water race. They have extremely high levels of energy. They have simplified their journey of life to share with others. A teacher takes something simple and makes it complicated. One thing, de esta información que, que hemos, estamos presentando, yo, yo lo que he hecho, lo he hecho lo más simplificado que se pueda. Porque yo sé que lo miran y dicen, well, this is fucking easy. But what did we say at the beginning? What's simple to do is also simple not to do. So, yo, what I did is, when I first got all this information, it was not like this. It was fucking scientific, and I'm like, what the fuck? So, yo lo que hice, lo hice simple, para poder presentarlo en una manera simple y que lo entendamos todo. So the whole goal is this, to be a motivator. Now, does that mean you got to talk in people? No. But if you're a business owner or a leader, to talk to your team, to, make, to be able to share with them lessons, to be able to share with them what they got to do to get better. That's what the whole ultimate goal of all human beings should be. The reason I'm here is because this is my calling, this is my journey, and this is what I want to present to you guys. That's why I do this. I went from... Musicians, selling computers, owning restaurants. And then through all, all those things I did, I figured out what my calling was. And this is it. And that's why I'm here. And you live out of it. I love it. This is what fuels me. I was excited. I got here two and a half hours before. No, por eso, pero, o sea, <laughs> no es un trabajo porque te mantienes no. de eso, vives muy bien, pero es lo que te gusta. Es lo que me encanta. A mí, cuando me conocieron, con, con Carlos, you know? He saw my passion. He's like, cabrón, pues vente acá. That's why, por eso tra les ayudo con los eventos, because I'm like, that's what I love, you know? Y funciona. ¿Por qué? Sí, pero por... no, porque no todo el dinero también tiene no. uno que darlo. El valor. El, el, el valor y hacer un impacto. Porque yo puedo venir, darles información que ya la han escuchado, aburrida. Esto es totalmente fuera... De serie, ¿sí me explico? No, esta información, most people are like, what, where the fuck you come up with? Years, years and years and years of studying, of understanding things. That's how I got all this information. Pagando capacitación, like two weeks ago, I'm in Missouri, in un training. That's what I do. I evolve myself. I have a to. Little bit of fear, a little yeah. Bit of y empiezo a poner yo mi portafolio de información en la presa. Moving forward. Este es un gran problema que existe por la tecnología, por los cambios tecnológicos. Instant gratification. Everyone loves me all the time syndrome. In, in, in the next training, vamos a hablar del monkey brain. So ahorita no se los voy a dar en detalle, pero la próxima capacitación va a venir en detalle lo que es el monkey brain. Everyone loves me all the time syndrome. Emotion. We're all pulled in life by emotion. Okay? What does that mean? Is that we want it now. Right now. ¿Qué dijimos de Amazon? Vas a la tienda y si está más en Amazon, you buy it on Amazon because you want it now. What does Amazon do? They even deliver the same day now. Now, instant gratification, okay? Many suffer from the disease to please. Unmotivatables like to please people. Y ahorita I'll get into why I put this up here, okay? Our monkey brain is the emotional brain, okay? That's the one that gives a dopamine squirt. That's the one that... You say yes to, okay? Cuando alguien te toca el corazón, ¿qué hacemos? Ay, pobrecito. That's the emotion. Okay? Cuando llega el cliente y se está quejando cómo le está yendo la vida de mal, que, que no puede pagar la renta, que no pagó el pago del carro, y luego te piden un descuento de celular porque te sientes mal. That's emotion. Okay? Thirst of novelty. 
if you let them. Yes, that's the thing. Um, Thirst of novelty wants to know the new and important new email, text, attention. Every time you get an alert on your phone, text message, Instagram, Facebook, that's the, that's the notion of love. That's when your emotion, that's why as soon as your ringtone hits, you look at it. It's the love dopamine. Our phones are the dopamine love. Every time somebody contacts you on your phone, it's the love potion. That's what it's, this is what it's called. Because your mind right away, you'll drop what you're doing to see who the hell texts you. As you guys go talk to 10 people and they don't get a policy from you, you fucking quit because you want it now. Change that shit. Go talk to 10. Talk to 10 more. Talk to 20. Talk to 30. And guess what? Once they start rolling in, you're like, holy shit. But guess what? Since you talk to 10, nobody called you, you stop. Instant gratification. You want it now. Why? Because we have Starbucks down the street. You want a coffee, you drive it. You're hungry, you go to a drive-thru, you get it now. What if we didn't have cars? What if we live in the area of horses? Think about it. They didn't have instant gratification. This should just happen now. You want a new dress? You go on Google, right? And then you start looking at all the stores that sell dresses, and then you pick the one. You want it now. Right? Back then, guess what? They had to make it a mano. And you had to, no, right? It's true. Think about it. Pero hay que programarnos que la vida vida no es instantánea. Los resultados no van a ser instantáneos. Van a ser instantáneos. Algunos van a ser instantáneos, pero igual se van a ir. Correcto. Correcto. Entonces, la mente hay que programarla que no es instantáneo. El desarrollo, el cambio, no es instantáneo. No es de aquí a mañana. Y paciencia. Y paciencia. Y este es un gran problema, porque lo pongo aquí, porque la mayoría de gente piensa que todo es instantáneo. ¿no? Y en esta industria, la licencia es instantánea, porque si tomas el, la clase en 52 horas y vas y tomas el examen y lo pasas, es instantáneo. ¿Cuántas carreras? Un pinche doctor no va a la escuela una semana. <risa> Entonces, entramos a este ramo con esa mentalidad que es instantánea. Ah, pues nomás fue a la escuela. Nada. Cero. Pero, ¿qué tal si dicen, ok, ocupas cuatro años de universidad para ser agente de seguro? Ya no vas. You're really happy. But do you see what I'm talking about? Yeah. We don't value, we don't understand what we do. The instant gratification shit needs to shift in this industry. I talk to so many agents and agency owners and I'm like, who the fuck are you fooling? You're only hurting yourself. Because they think they're smart because they work with Infinity and they know all their products. I had a training. I did a sales training for a company uh, in, the, in the Inland Empire. I had an agent lose a fucking policy because he charged too little. You know why he charged too little? Because he only knew one product. He only worked with Infinity. And he was fucking gone when I told him, you're that guy that'll fucking throw a policy on me just because you know the product, but you're not solving my problem. And he lost a fucking deal because he charged too little. And I told him, you're the problem that the industry is the way it is. That does not, how the hell do you lose a policy because you charge too little? <laughs> no, but it makes sense. Just if you were to look at the guy, you'd be like, oh yeah, it fucking makes sense. And you fucking lost the deal because he charged too little. But I didn't tell him. That. Well, I did tell him. I was like, that, that's your problem. You don't know how to sell. You don't know what the hell you're doing. And the instant gratification goes hand in hand. We come into this industry, we get licensed, and we think we're fucking badasses. And we're not. So we have to unprogram that from us to be able to move forward. So let's move forward. You guys have any questions? There. Claro. Sí, so, un punto muy importante, dos cosas. La persona tiene que ser, tener, si es un unmotivatable, tiene que entender lo que tiene que hacer para llegar a ser un motivatable, motivatable. Okay. La, la empresa, así como ustedes están dando estas capacidades, es el primer paso. Ellos tienen que agarrar la rienda y seguirla. 
Ok, estamos grabando toda esta capacitación. Solo la vamos a hacer disponible para los que quieran volver a recapacitar esto y entenderlo y implementarlo. Y los que no, ¿qué, ¿qué dijimos ahí? No puedes cambiarlo, no puedes hacer nada. Tú les puedes decir, les puedes, ¿qué dice? You can lead a horse to water. Pues, oh, they don't drink it, they don't drink it. So, entonces, ahí es donde, como líderes, tenemos que identificar las personas que no están, pues, no están, uh, para, no van a poner su parte y hay que reemplazarla. Y yo soy honestamente en esto porque yo como empresario hago lo mismo. Si no vas a poner de tu parte para mi visión que yo tengo para mi empresa, pues a lo mejor alguien más sí te ocupa con una visión menos pequeña que la mía. ¿Sí me explico? Porque mis visiones, como les dije hace rato, están tan locas. Like, si yo le digo a alguien, mis visiones van a decir, estás loco, güey. Pero tengo ya mi equipo, lo estoy preparando para que esa visión que tengo ellos mismos acepten que sí es realidad. ¿Sí me explico? Entonces, si tú tienes un equipo y dices, ¿sabes que Este año vamos a generar... Tú vas a generar... Yo siempre digo, como en comisión, si tú le dices a una gente, tú vas a ganar 100 mil dólares este año, yo en mi mente ya sé cuánto voy a generar. Entonces, yo lo que me enfoco en los agentes, ¿sabes que Tú vas a generar 100 mil este año. Ah, cabrón, ¿y cómo? Si ahorita gano 60. Esos 40 mil, lo vamos a repartir en 12 meses. Vamos a hacer esto, tum, 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 tum. So, ya esos 40 mil de ingresos a una gente... A un, a un agent, tú ya sabes cuánto te va a generar a ti como dueño. ¿Sí me explico? Entonces, si tienes un equipo de 15 y cada uno te produce 40 mil dólares más al año, ¿cuánto más vas a generar tú? Pero tienes que tener un plan de ejecución, tienes que tener una visión para ellos ver cómo lo van a lograr y ejecutar. ¡Bum! ¿Sí me explico? Y es donde la creatividad hay que ya poner en papel, hacer the game plan and execute. Implement. Porque puedes hablar, hey, vamos a hacer 40 mil. Chingón. Pero si no hay plan, ¿cómo vas a ejecutar? ¿Sí me explico? Entonces, est estos workbooks es lo mismo. Eh, está la información, está la, tu, tu sección de notas para que tú creativamente construyas tu plan y ejecutes. Lo mismo. Y se ocupa tiempo, paciencia. Porque ya la visión cambia. Y creatividad. Void versus resist. Okay. No. You guys feel the, I didn't even talk about it. Unless you guys don't want me to talk about it. <laughs> Void versus resist. Resist is checking your phones, emails, texts. Okay. Why? It's easier. Es por ejemplo las donas, ¿ah? ¿eh? Ahorita. No, no lo voy a hacer de ejemplo. It's good. They're good. A mí me encantan las donas. Y yo resistí no comerme una. Y cuando dijiste, I don't go eat a donut, ¿qué hice? Fui y me comí una dona. ¿Sí me explico? So, el punto es este. Si no había las donas, ni tú ni yo comemos donas. Ni nadie come donas. Pero es un punto nomás, un ejemplo. Estando ahí, no la vamos a comer. No estando ahí, no, no la vamos a comer. No, pero mira, es como Adán y Eva. Yo fui la... La que dijo, yo voy a ver. Y ahí voy yo, ¿eh? Y ahí va, ¿tú no, <risa> no, pero escuché. Pero escuchó. Sí, pero escuché. Pero, <risa> deja voy al punto. Suena tu teléfono con una notificación. Sí. Es lo mismo que la dona. Sí. Ese es el punto que voy. So, ¿Saben qué hice yo para eliminar ese problema? So, en mi, mi phone book, en los contacts, identifiqué la prioridad de personas. So, entonces, cada persona con mamá tiene un ringtone. Mi esposa tiene otro ringtone. Gente que no me comunico mucho, no tiene ringtone. So, si me mandan textos, ni cuenta me doy. Eh, mi, mi equipo tiene un ringtone. So, yo sé cuando me están marcando. Mi abogado tiene un ringtone. Eh, mi, mi contadora tiene un ringtone. ¿Por qué? Porque es, así sé si dejo de, de lo que estoy haciendo para contestar o no. That's the best advice I could give you guys. ¿Por qué? Because the distractions. Y usen la, la analogy de las donas porque es la misma. Si no estaban ahí, no, aunque digas quiero una dona, pues yo también quiero una, pero no hay. So no, no me la como. Oh. So I was telling her that resist versus void. So like, for example, cuando timbra tu teléfono, 
pues nadie resistimos no mirar quién chingas es. So, entonces, eh, me, lo que yo hice, I changed ringtones based on the priority of a person. So every person I work with, eh, su contact tiene un ringtone. Y esa es una persona que no es que nada que ver, pero que no es me hace, sí. no tiene ringtone. So, si me manda un texto, no me doy cuenta hasta que miro los alerts, porque no quiero distracciones. Ya so, yeah, I turn it off. Even calls, even if they call me, I won't know until it shows missed call, because they're not priority to me. I only answer. That's right. <laughs> no, you see, it's true because. <laughs> tengo, tengo, tengo amigos. Hey, tengo una semana que no me te con, no me contestan. Es que pues no. Yo les digo, you're not a priority to me. Good people, love you. I don't have time. Weaknesses of willpower. To achieve the exceptional, you have to ignore the popular. Just read that. You, to achieve exceptional, you have to ignore the popular. What does that mean? The popular means what everybody else is doing. Watching fucking the Kardashians. Watching Jen, uh, Larry Mania. Watching... No, it's true. People that watch that are unmotivatables. Because they're focusing their time and energy on things that are not helping them. Okay? You guys want to take like a five minute break and then we'll finish like in 20 minutes so we can stretch out. Okay. Popular TV shows, sports, news, gossip. All those popular shows are designed to awaken the monkey brain. When we, he when we hear a sad story, we feel emotional. When your clients come in and share a story that's emotional, you guys go home and get all sad. Can't do that. Because now you're going to give them a better deal because you're sad for them. People want you to feel sad for them. They do. Stop it. Stop it. Just listen to it and just, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and ignore it and keep writing. Because no, because then you're going to go home and start sharing their sad stories instead of you focusing on your life, your family, your personal priorities, your things. And if you're not, it's easy. The easy things to do are easy not to. You're going to walk out today. You're going to go back to your office. You know, the customer is going to come in sad. Remember, be like, fuck, Caesar said not to take this shit home. Don't take it home. <laughs> no, you don't. You just, what I, you know what? Just have a trash can there. And when you leave, just grab and fucking, man, no, I'm serious. Things that are, you have to be different. Right. You have they to try shit. Right. Yeah. What the name of the customer? Yeah. Pobrecito, que Dios lo bendiga. Cuando alguien empieza a hablar de sus problemas conmigo, esto es lo que les digo. ¿Quieres que te escuche o quieres que te dé un consejo? And you know what they do? Mm -hmm. No, pues, no, mejor no. Exacto. Porque el consejo se hizo... Te, and I'll give you, we'll go to break right now. Un tío me habló una vez, un tío, hermano, mamá, para decir un pinche problema que traía. Y, me, y le dije, ¿quieres que te escuche? Nunca me habla. His ringtone was... I, <laughs> off. <laughs> so le hablé, ¿verdad? Le digo, ¿quieres que te escuche o que te dé un consejo? And, pues, es mi tío, ¿verdad? He's like, what the fuck, ¿qué consejo me va a dar? Yeah? Y me dijo, dame el consejo. Two minutes into my consejo, hey, I got ya me tengo que ir, tengo que, porque no le gustó lo que le estaba diciendo. Nunca jamás me ha vuelto a hablar. So guess what? It works. No, porque ya no me va a hablar para pa decirme pendejadas. Y ya no me va a hablar. No, porque le he visto la verdad y no. And it works. It's hard. It, it takes confidence to do it, though. Because at first I was like, oh, fuck, should I say it? Entonces, pero la gente no quiere el consejo. No. Nadie quiere el consejo. No, 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 Todos quieren que, que, que los... Si quiere el consejo, te lo pide. Sí, ¿verdad? sí. Y ellos lo que quieren es hacer esto. Aventar. Aventarte el pinche pedo y que ya traigas también el pedo de ellos acá. Y dices, no. 